Residents in Fort Lauderdale tonight, more than a month after that historic flooding, White House and FEMA officials touring the Edgewood neighborhood to assess the progress that's been made and the response that's still needed. This is a matter of a three, five, seven year rebuild in the United States of America. The president is not going to leave anybody behind. I am here on his behalf to demonstrate um, his commitment to the people of Florida and to the people of the United States of America and make sure that we don't build back like it was, um, but we build back better. Let me. Ahead of that White House tour, we caught up with residents to see how recovery efforts were going. CBS News Miami's Chelsea Jones is in the Edgewood section of Fort Lauderdale with their stories. This neighborhood is no longer submerged by water, and you can tell by the traffic that is flowing freely along this main thoroughway here. But a lot of these homes are simply shells of what they used to be. Fans still soaking up the moisture of April's historic flooding in Amir Thompson's home. You can see there's not much left behind, but just a month ago, Amir was climbing out of his window seeking shelter. Three and a half feet of water outside and 28 inches of water inside. This rental vehicle is now his home. Between car rentals, um, Airbnbs, you know, so I've been sleeping in a car just to save money. It's all because of this. You've seen these images, but hundreds of people are living in the aftermath. Amir is a professional chef. He's out over $50,000 because his commercial kitchen equipment at his home is unusable thanks to the floods. That's on top of daily expenses. Not nice to see. Just across the street, this newly renovated home is being reconstructed all over again. We had to take from four foot down to the floor everything in all the walls. She says she spent over $300,000 in renovations, but the floods gutted her project, bringing with it 19 inches of water. I have insurance, flood insurance, and they only gave me $15,000 for the drying when the drying is $38,000. She hasn't gotten that check yet. The drainage, we have a huge problem here and I would like to solve it. They need to fix the, the drainage system. These neighbors say the process with FEMA is long and they don't have straight answers. So it's just like a long, unnecessary process. Just help people and that's it. Amir tells me that several people in this neighborhood are planning to file a class action lawsuit against the city. They're just hoping that they can get some assistance and start to rebuild their lives. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Chelsea Jones, CBS News, Miami.